Hey brother, it's Dan with Good Guys to Great Men. I just wanted to make a quick video today on what we call high regard. It's a really important part of what we do in coaching with men. And it's really important because it's it's quite transformational. It is a really Im impactful tool that you can have in your belt when you're dealing with a relationship. And so sometimes I'll talk about low regard and high regard. And low regard often looks like um, if only the other person would show this, 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 bring this, this, this to the relationship. And so as guys, this often sounds like if only she would initiate sex more often, if only she would be more affectionate, if only she would be less critical, if only she would appreciate what I, all that I put into us and the family and the house and the kids and you know, all the stuff that I do for us, if only she would. And so that is viewing her and the relationship in low regard. And if you find yourself oftentimes kind of muttering around under your breath, frustrated, you know, comparing her to other women and other relationships and, and asking yourself, why am I here? You know, constantly putting pressure on yourself. You are absolutely holding the relationship and her in low regard. And during that, you will be creating this pressure and this um, feeling of hardness um, and a lack of love and a lack of understanding and a lack of respect between the two of you, which is picked up by the other person. And so that is low regard. And what is high regard? Well, high regard is, is the opposite. High regard is loving somebody else without needing a reason for it, right? Just because of who they are, the person that they are, the woman that she is. Just love her for that. That is high regard. How can you do that? Well, that's because I respect who she is as a person. It's not about the behavior. When she's criticizing me, I know that's not really her. Right now, that's because she has a pressure of something or other that she thinks needs to be done right now or that I'm doing something that's going to affect some long-term <laughs> thing that she's, she's focused on. And so that's where the criticism is coming from. And in actual fact, a lot of the time, the criticism can be very beneficial. In a work environment, when people criticize us, we look at it and we go, okay, you know, what in there is useful? Oftentimes, there's lots of really useful information in there. But when it's our romantic partner, we've given them this power to have the ability to tell us how we feel about ourselves. Even when we're just talking about something ridiculous like, you know, washing the floor, or taking the trash out, filling up the dishwasher, all that stuff totally unrelated to who you are as a man and totally related to something that is happening, something you're doing, something that she's doing, nothing to do with the people that you are, nothing to do with the relationship that you have, just little bits of behavior. And so high regard is being able to be in that situation and not get affected by it, not take it personally, not think that it's a criticism of your character and who you are as a man, but to know this is just a moment and it's not something that I need to react to. It's there, But there is some useful information in here. Why is the other person upset about it? That would be interesting to understand. What is it in particular about the thing <laughs> that we're arguing about or that I'm I'm noticing criticism coming about that is so important because there's something in there that's important that would be really useful to find out if you can get to the bottom of it, right? It's not about you. It's about something else. So what is that? You have to be able to hold first yourself in high regard, right? I respect myself greatly. Um, I know who I am and I know what I bring to this relationship and I know what I bring to my life and where I'm headed. So that's the first thing, having high regard for yourself. And then you're able to have high regard for the, for the other person and for the relationship from that place of self-respect. Otherwise, we're always kind of scrabbling around, needing to get our sense of self-respect, our sense of love, our sense of worth from the other person. We're always chasing it. And I can guarantee you, if you're always chasing and needing somebody else to give you that sense of self, that sense of worth, that sense of love, they are at some point going to run away from it, right? They're at some point going to feel this is so much pressure. You know, you can understand it from a child, from a child who is who is uh, wholly reliant on, a, on an adult for that sense of love, for that sense of belonging. But for a grown-up, 
we need to be able to find that in ourselves and that comes down to knowing who you are that comes down to knowing what it is you want it comes down to having a very clear path for yourself in regards to your life in regards to how you show up in regards to how you interact with other people so this is what high regard is all about it's not an easy thing to do this is why our coaching programs <laughs> take time over months you know because we have to build a foundation a foundation of who you are a foundation of love for yourself a foundation of confidence in the way that you think about and approach your life your relationship your career all of that stuff and it starts first and foremost with you because if we don't have that foundation in there first you're going to crumble whenever somebody else comes along with some differing opinion or whenever somebody's having a crappy day and their mood is going up and down is going to affect yours too so that's it for today high regard it's it often feels like a softening when you think about the situation that you find yourself in and you decide rather than trying to fight it or attack it you're just going to allow yourself to respond to it in a calm confident way in exactly the way that you want to based on the values that are important for you based on the kind of things that you would love to receive from somebody else and giving those things first that's it for today take care guys bye